Hi there, this is chapter 6 of Coastal and Harbour Engineering. This chapter 6 is about revetment design and beach nourishment. Now once you complete this chapter, you'll be able to design coastal revetment and beach nourishment perform calculations for coastal revetment and beach nourishment and recognize the need for coastal protection and nourishment. Now let's look at few of the types of coastal structures. We have revetment which is a sloping structure built onshore to, to prevent coastal overtopping, flooding or erosion. You can look you can see the rock revetment, timber revetment, the hollow block revetment and tetrapod revetment. This is a bulkhead which is a structure built on shore to prevent coastal overtopping, flooding or sliding of the land. Now we also have groin, which is built along beach. Now in revetment design, once we know the revetment slope, crest level, foreshore gradient, significant wave height and wave period, we can determine for the functional suitability of use based on overtopping performance and the suitability size of rock armors for revetment. The next topic is about beach nourishment. Now for no long shore transport, depth of closure, length, width, to be nourished and design return period, we can determine the size of the area to be nourished as well as the volume. Let's continue 